Hi, I'm Davin Yu from Department of Material Science and Engineering in University of Seoul. I present my research topic, photocatalytic reaction of the composite of triiodide hydrosomally coated on copper of strontium aluminate phosphor. Triiodide is not decomposed by light energy and can be stably used semi-permanently, but triiodide only reacts irradiate ultraviolet light. However, the phosphor photocatalysis composite material enables photocatalytic active reaction after stopping the irradiation of light or invisible light. First, in experiment, composite material fabricate following two flow chart. Strontium aluminate powder for supporting TiO2 catalyst was synthesized by solution met combustion method. Next, copper particle was impregnated on phosphor and copper impregnation phosphor was coated with TiO2 using hydrosomal method. XRD depression data is showing the peak of phosphor anomaly, which means that no destruction of the phosphor base has occurred during synthesis. Unfortunately, copper content below 8% was not analyzed by XRD. There was only variation in the peak value due to coating. In the every same image, hydrosomally composite material is showing nanoplaque shape. Nanoplaque shape increases surface area and enables coating of tear particle between flake shape. It can be said to be the biggest difference from the Zolga method. The nanoplaque shape was destroyed and thinner with increasing coating time and the surface area decreased. EDS data is showing peak of element in composite material. The copper content showed at increase as set. Hydrosomal coating method sample is showing high absorbance than Zolga method and pure phosphor. However, light emission intensity was lower as a result of PL analysis. It means t out coating is good and t out receives the photon energy from the phosphor and can show photocatalytic reaction. The most important thing in composite material is the photocatalytic performance. The photocatalytic performance was irradiated with ultraviolet, ultraviolet and visible light and the reduction of toluene gas in the atmosphere was analyzed by gas chromatography and methylene blue solution testing using UVBS equipment. Rate of reaction is showing that the photocatalytic reaction rate was shown linearly. For copper impregnation, photocatalytic performance increased up to 0.083 molarity copper contents, but over 0.103 molarity copper contents decreased photocatalytic performance than pure phosphor TiO2. The photocatalytic performance was showed a difference according to the coating time. The 4-hour hydrosomal coating sample was the fastest and was optimized for nanoplaque growth. As the coating time increased, the nanoplaque was destroyed and if the time was short, they could not grow sufficiently. The phosphor receives light from a light source and emits light in the form of photons. TiO2 receives photons and shows photocatalytic performance. Copper interacts with TiO2 to form a energy level and improve photocatalytic performance. Copper particles improve photocatalytic activity. How energy level of copper in TiO2 facilitate electron excitation and inhibit recombination of electrons and holes. In this study, we confirmed the photocatalytic performance of fabricated strontium aluminate TiO2 composite material with copper impregnation and hydrosomal method. Kappa impregnation enhanced, enhanced photocatalytic performance than pure phosphor TiO2 composite. The composite material with 0.062 molarity copper contents was the fastest and about 20% faster than pure phosphor TiO2 composite material. 
kappa impregnation post p o p o w d e r photocatalytic performance increased with 0.083 molarity kappa contents but decreased at exceed 0.103 molarity kappa contents. Structural and morphological property of hydrothermal coating composite materials showed nanoplaque shape in FSM image. Hydrothermal method increased the surface area for coating TR2. Thank you for your attention.